Hello again. Um, here I'm going to continue the AMO3 Jets and Mods series. And this time we'll cover the USAF mods. As again, the mods are linked in the description. Be sure to check it out. Now we are going to start our test mission again. And add the USAF fighters and modules. Okay, this is our old mission. Let's just move those armor three jets. Okay, like that. Now we have our USCF um, items right here on the normal menu. We have the A10, of course. Let's buy it without AI. And the Raptor, I guess. This is the one without external pylons, uh, meaning it's stealth based and this is with because we are testing of course we're gonna take as much weapons as we can okay and we have the f-35 the thing is i'm pretty sure um, this fighter is not a VTOL, a vertical takeoff and landing fighter, as it would be uh, in the reality, I guess, and in the firewheel mode. So we do need to use the catapult. Now, this mode has its own service menu and it is quite awesome, really awesome. And in fact, but you have to have a few things for it to work. So, first, you need a service menu item, like one of those missile cards, which you can place anywhere around the fighters, doesn't need to be that close. And you need uh, an ammunition truck or something similar, like a hanger. If I could work just right, okay. So, If you are near here, if you put the chat near a hangar, you can also enter the service menu and have rearm, refuel, and uh, repair. We don't have that. So, and the other thing is you have to look um, at the specific item so you can actually access the service menu because it's not in the fighter call menu, action menu, but it's on the respective item, like the ammo truck in this uh, instance. So you don't have to use, uh, you don't have to place two items like the ammo truck and the missile card. What you also can do, you can place a module like the full service module and sync it to the ammo truck. And now you can also rearm. Let's just test this real quick. Okay. The engine, of course, has to be off for this to work. And now, yeah, it's <laughs> you have to be quite exact on where you look. So here we have the service menu. And you can see the rearm, refuel, and repair is green. If we wouldn't have placed the uh, service menu module, 
this would be red because you wouldn't have access to those items. Okay, so that works as it intended. Let's return to the in editor. Now, the most awesome thing in the USAF mod is a working tanker. For this, you have to place the tanker module anywhere, and you have the tanker. Um, okay, probably with AI, although I'm not even sure at that. Um, I think you can place the tanker anywhere on the map, even in the water, I think. Um, because when synced to the module, the module will spawn the tanker into the air. No, it worked, okay. Now let's go into the module options. You can specify a specific, a specific pattern. So unchanged, uh, I'm, I've, I've never tried that, but unchanged means um, the tanker would follow the placed waypoints, uh, the, the waypoints you placed on the in the in editor. And in pattern, you can for now select circle the map, which means the tanker is gonna circle the map on the and cover each corner. We can see that later in game. Altitude is use in edit altitude. We we are gonna set it to let's say 1000. This is meters, of course, not feet. Airspeed 380 should be quite okay. Invincible, of course, respawn. Doesn't make much sense if it's invincible, but okay. Infinite playtime uh, means the tanker doesn't have to land somewhere and refuel on its own, so it can stay in the air indefinite. And of course, a map marker for you, so you can find it more easily. And I guess, well, that should work. What else? Of course, we have some transport planes, which we are not going to cover and don't need, and some drones. Okay, uh, what we what you do have to keep in mind though is I didn't install the firewall mode or, uh, for now, which means we don't have access to a lot of the firewall weapons, of course. So there probably won't be that much to choose from. Actually, we can, of course, see that right now. Let's just take a quick look. So we have the Amram, we have the Sidewinder, uh, although it's not clear if this is the Arma 3 side, uh, Amram and Sidewinder or the USAF mode. Maybe we can see that inside the game. Okay. F-16 fuel tank, cloaking device, yeah, we don't need that. Well, I'm pretty sure they work the same. Doesn't matter if it's the armor default one or the mod. Here we can select only Sidewinder, only an armor arm, well, that's no fun. And here we have the GBU 53, 30 and 32, and 39D. Mm, that really isn't a lot of weapons. Maybe the A10 has more, um, but we are gonna try that in game. So, but what is the GPU-32? This is a GPS guided bomb. Uh, 
that's a dual guided bomb, meaning GPS and laser. And that is also a dual guided bomb. The difference being uh, the amount, uh, the size and weight of the warhead. High explosive penetrating steel case, blast frag, plasma jet. Okay, I guess I'm pretty sure the GPU 53 is the armor default one. GPS, laser, infrared, and radar. Yeah, that sounds like it because in the armor default one, you can actually lock on with this bomb. This means it would be an infrared or IIR, imaging infrared guided bomb. Okay, let's take the GPU 53 here and the 39B in this slot. Okay, and okay, yeah, and of course we're gonna try to refuel. So we are gonna set the fuel to 30% and um, we are gonna try to refuel mid air which is one of the toughest maneuvers you can do in pretty much any flight simulation, but it is actually quite doable. Um, even I managed to do it the first time I've tried. <laughs> let's see if, it, if I can do it again. Now let's set the pylon loadout for the A10. Yeah, okay, ECM port. ECM is electronic countermeasures. We we are not gonna fool around with that. But if you if the fighter itself is not equipped with an onboard ECM, like the I think the F22 is, you have to, you would need the port so you can access the action in the uh, mouse call menu. Okay, unguided bomb, CPU cluster. Hydra are the unguided rockets. APKWS is also rockets like the Hydra, but laser guided this time. GVO 12, of course. The laser guided bomb, uh, like the one in Arma 3 default. GBU 49, GPS laser dual mode bomb. A GBU 53 is for the, the same as for the F 22. GPU 55 also dual with GPS and laser. Okay, MK82 is a unguided bomb. Training. Okay, that's the same bomb but high drag, meaning it's gonna um, travel for a further distance. At least I think. I've never used that one. So what do we actually want to try? No. Sensor fuse shape charge submunition. That sounds nifty. It is unguided. So <clears throat> the thing is, um, I've heard of this cluster bomb and the real life counterpart would be like, you release the, the cluster ammunition and somewhere in mid-air it will disperse the submunition just like the other cluster bombs, but the submunition itself is guided. So those 40 shaped charges are gonna look for, I guess, infrared, radar, signatures on the ground and are gonna fly towards it. So they should be, work very well against the cluster of tanks and cars and, and, and the like. This one we are gonna try for sure. Incendiary bomb. That sounds sweet. Unguided though, but 
doesn't matter. GPU 12. Oh, this is the same one, but guided, GPS guided. Now let's just use the unguided one. So 87, 89, and 97 are the same bonds as, where did I see them? As 103, 104, and 105, but those are guided, GPS guided bonds, and the other ones are unguided. That's the only difference. Okay, so it seems the A10, doesn't have an integrated um, targeting port for, for bombs. That means if you don't add one of those ports, either one is okay, you can't use a laser for the guided bombs. You could only use um, the GPS guided bombs. Right. Okay, so CPU ninety seven mines. Yeah, we don't care about them. This is probably the same as the ARMA three default one. Let's take two of those. We don't care about rockets as we've seen with default ARMA three. It don't really do much damage. Okay, so there are a bit more options with the weapons on the A10. And the 35A. Okay, even more options. Okay, yeah, I think we are mainly going to use this fighter then. Okay. So we still have our enemies placed. Although for the incendiary we Target, we are gonna place some more infantry. Okay, that should be enough. Right. Okay, I guess that's it for the editor. Let's just try it out, shall we? Okay. 